One of Unreal's hidden gems is the BP Skysphere uh, blueprint, which is hidden away and you wouldn't even know it's there. Now, if you were building a, uh, a world that has a uh, sun situation in it, you might come into your lights and add uh, sun and sky. And then you could add the, the sky light, which will create all of your uh, reflections and your lights around the actors. It would be down in your volumes. You might want to add in your clouds. Let's have a quick look. Oh, in visual effects, you will add in uh, your volumetric clouds. Through this, you start to build up uh, a scene that you can you can sort of see what uh, the sun's going to look like. You have to sort of get it constructed just right. Um, you have to get your your lighting levels right. You have to compile and add in a sort of directional light there, which becomes the light for the sun, or sorry for the skylight. So I don't like to use this. I'm going to show you a much better way of doing it. This is the BP Sky Sphere. So it's actually hidden away in your engine content. If you go back to all. So you can see your engine content. Make sure you've gone to settings and you've enabled uh, show engine content down here. And we type in BP underscore sky sphere. And there it is. Now we just click and drag that into our scene. And now we've got a really nice sun. Now this one, we can add a directional light in and that can become the direction of the, the light. So we can choose it from here or we can use a picker. So now the directional light is what's controlling the orientation of the sun rather than putting it in manually. So I can change my, my sun settings by moving this around. And there it is up there. So if I do this, we should see the sun move. We're not. We've got to click refresh material each time. So that then becomes the, the mechanism for checking your directional light. And we can click on this colors turn by sun position, which makes sure that it's uh, is, is creating the colors based on where the sun is. If it's a sunset, we can control the brightness of that sun. We can apply clouds to it in opacity, and we can apply some speed to them so they're actually moving in the scene, depending on which way you're looking. I'll try and turn down the brightness slightly. And now if we start to change the, uh, the sun height, so we can bring it up higher to make it more into daytime. But if we bring it right down, we get nighttime. And we've got this nice star effect, and of course we can change the brightness with that here, star brightness. And we can start to play around with the zenith, change the color of it if we want to make it look a little bit more magical. Change the horizon color, the cloud color. Let's give it a sort of bluey hue. You can see some of those colors coming through there. It tries to maintain some of the realism. And that's the BP Sky Sphere. It's a much nicer looking sky, I think, to put into your scene than having to build a complex sky system with all the individual components.